minds in the name of the Lord. How many can declare that God has been good to you? Hallelujah. How many can declare that God has been Hallelujah. merciful to you? He's been kind you glory. to Hallelujah. you in the name of the Lord. And his name is worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be glorified in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. God, we thank you. We praise Hallelujah. you. We honor you in the beauty of holiness. Yes, God, For Lord, yes, we come yes, before you to say yes to your will, Lord God. We come before you thanking you, Lord God, for a brand new day. We come before you, Lord God, knowing that your presence is the most valuable thing that we have. We're thankful for your voice. We're thankful for the anointing. We're thankful that you have supplied all of our needs according to your riches and glory. We are thankful for your spirit that dwells on the inside, but we are grateful for salvation. We are grateful for deliverance. We are thankful that you died for us. We are thankful Hallelujah. that you rose on the third day in the name of the Lord. We, you are worthy of the glory. You are worthy of the honor. Lord, we're thankful that you made a way for us to see you face to face, Lord God. Lord, we're thankful, Lord God, that you're a burden bearer, a heart fixer, a mind regulator. Hallelujah. We come before you to give you the honor today. On this Mother's Day, we celebrate our mothers, Lord God, and all that they have done, Lord God, in the name of the Lord. We bless your mighty name, Lord Lord God, cover them, Lord God, with your grace. Cover them with your love. Cover them with your blood, Lord God, in the name of the Lord. We are thankful yes, God. Yes, for this God. day. Yes, for Lord, God. we yes, know God. that you're yes, able to God. heal before with a benediction. Yes, yes. You're able to deliver. You're able to save Hallelujah. before the benediction, Lord God. Many things going on in our Hallelujah. world, Lord God. Living in perilous times, Hallelujah. wars and rumors of wars, Lord God. Nation against nation. Hallelujah. Kingdom against kingdom. Lord God, we ask you, Lord God, that you would give favor to the country of Ukraine, Lord God, in the name of the Lord. Lord God, I ask you, Lord God, to protect, Lord God, in the name of the Lord and conquer the spirit, Lord God, in the name of the Lord of division and violence and murder, Lord God, and genocide, Lord God. Lord God, we know that there is much that we don't understand, but Lord God, we're thankful that you have brought us this far by faith. We are thankful, Lord God, that you have healed us from the inside out. Heal those, Lord God, that it may have, Lord God, tested positive, Lord God, for the COVID-19 virus or one of its variants, Lord. But Lord, we are thankful that we can declare that on this Sunday morning that by your stripes we are healed. Lord God, let someone today cry out, what must I do to be saved? Lord God, churches, Lord God, bringing forth your word throughout this world, Lord God. Lord God, we believe that you're going to continue to add to your church. Lord God, we give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. Come on, if God has been good to you, come on, begin to bless his name all over the sanctuary. In the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 Catch this praise right here. Thank you, Jesus, for all you've done. Thank you, Jesus, for all you've done. That's it. Thank you, Jesus. For all you've done, thank you, Jesus, for all you've done. Come on, be thankful. Thank you, Jesus, for all you've done. Come on. Thank you, Jesus, for all Enter in. Thank you, Jesus, for all you've done. Come on, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for all you've done. Come on, lift your hand. Thank you. Thank you, 
says enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his court with
God to me. How great thou art. How great thou art. Then said my soul, my Savior God to me. Lift your voice. How great thou art. How great thou art. Come on, hallelujah. How great is our God. How great is our God. Sing with me. How great is our God. And all we see, how great, how great is our God. Come on. A name above all names. A name above all names. a great God. Oh, everybody in the house, just say it with me. He's a great God. Hallelujah. Oh, he's a great God. He's a great God. Oh, yes, he is. One more time. Come on, he's a great God. He's a great God. Oh, how great is our God. How great is our God. See with me how great how great, how great is our God. Oh, come on, bless him, bless him today. Come on, on this Mother's Day, do you believe we serve a great God? Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, glory to God, hallelujah. Come on, bless our God, bless our God. Hallelujah. Oh, one more time. Help me sing it. Come on. He's a great God. Come on. He's a great God. He's a great God. Have those hands and praise his name. He's a great God. Come on. Give him the glory. Hey, he's a great. He's a great God. Oh, he's a great God. He's a great God. He's a great God. Oh, how great is our God. How great. God, sing with me how great is our God, and oh we sing how great, how great is our God. Oh, hallelujah, he's not a great God, he's not only a great God, but he's greater than any other, hallelujah. Oh, come on, put your hands together and praise him. Hallelujah. Water you turned in new wine. Hallelujah. Open the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you. Hallelujah. None like you. Into the darkness you shine. Hallelujah. Out of the ashes we rise. There's no one like you. Hallelujah. None like you. Help me sing. Our God is greater. Our God is greater. Our God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, awesome in power. Our God, our God. Let's sing the verse again. Come on. Water you turn into wine. You open the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you. None like you. Come on, into the darkness we shine. 
into the darkness you shine Lord, out of the ashes we rise There's no one like you No like you Our God is greater Our God is greater God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand again? And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand again? And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand the dead? And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand the dead? Oh, I don't lift him up. Then what? Then what can stand the sanctuary of the Greater Refuge Temple of Christ. We welcome you, those that are watching us virtually as we're streaming live on Facebook. We give God all the glory, all the honor, and the praise. And one more time, we say happy Mother's Day to all the mothers in the sanctuary and those that are online in the name of the Lord. We give God thanks for you today in the name of Jesus. We are so glad that you are here and we've come to lift up the name of Jesus on this wonderful Mother's Day. 
Hallelujah. God ordained it for us to see this day, a day that we have never laid eyes on before in the name of Jesus. And hallelujah, we are thankful for the blessings of God. How many can say that the Lord kept you? In spite of all you've been through, the Lord has, the Lord has kept you. And we give him all the praise and the glory. We want to see you this coming Wednesday night from 6 to 7 for prayer and Bible study. We're going to finish up the uh, subject of the gifts of the Spirit. And we're going to go into a segment on the oneness of God. Some might call it the teaching of the triune God. But we want to talk about God being one. And we want to give you scriptural support. God is not three in the name of the Lord, but he is one. And of course, we want to remind you that on the 21st of this month, Saturday the 21st from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m., we'll be in the Western New York Prayer, uh, Western New York um, Convocation, Diocese Convocation, and we are looking forward to being together with some of our churches throughout the Western New York Diocese, and we're going to have some guest pastors. There will be two panel discussions in the morning, and then we will break for lunch, and we'll have a service in the afternoon. We're going to try to get you out as early as possible, so Greater Refuge Temple, I'm asking you humbly that you would join us in the name of the Lord, and let us be of, um, of support and your presence will be greatly appreciated in Jesus name. So without further delay, let us go to the word of God. Glory to God on this Mother's Day. Glory to God. I want to go to the, uh, the first the first Samuel, the first chapter. I'm going to read the 11th verse, the first 11 verses. It's a lot of reading, so I'm just going to read uh the first 11 verses, and whatever I don't get to, you can study it on your own in the name of the Lord. How many study the Bible on your own? Or you know, we, we're not that church that we just open the Bible when we get to church. We study the Word of God, that the Word of God will be a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our pathway. Stand with me in reverence to the Word of God. How many need a word from the Lord this morning? Glory to God. God has a word for me to share with you in Jesus' name. And I trust that it will encourage all the mothers, but even it will encourage everyone in the name of the Lord. Father, we thank you and we praise you for this time in your presence as we begin to share your word. Lead us, guide us, direct us, pour into us. Let this word touch someone's heart, turn a heart of stone into a heart of flesh to receive your word that they'll cry out, what must I do to be saved? Responding in repentance, water baptism in your name and the promise of the infilling of the Holy Ghost. Break the chains of the enemy over the mind, over the emotion, over the body, over the spirit. Lord God, the enemy cannot win, but we, God, God, will come out on top. We will be victorious for me and all these things. We are more than conquerors through you that love us. We thank you for being faithful. We thank you for your grace, your mercy, and your peace. Looking beyond our faults and seeing all of our needs. We're thankful for the cross that you died on for us. Lord God, we're thankful for the blood that you shed. We give you all the glory and the honor, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, for all that you've done, all that you're doing right now, all that you're going on to do. Let your anointing flow in this moment in time. In Jesus' name, let everyone say amen. In the book of 1 Samuel, beginning at the first verse, it says, Now there was a certain man, a Rama. Than Zophim of Mount Ephraim, and his name was Elkanah, and the son of Jeroham, and the son of Elihu, and the son of Tohu, and the son of Zuf, an Ephrathite. And he had two wives. The name of the one was Hannah, and the name of the other was Peninnah. And Peninnah had children. But Hannah had no children. And this, man, and this man went up out of this city yearly to worship and to sacrifice unto the Lord of hosts. In Shiloh, the sons of Eli and Hophni and Phinehas and the priests of the Lord were there. And when the time was that Elkanah offered, he gave to Peninnah his wife and to all her sons and daughters portions. 
But unto Hannah he gave a worthy portion, for he loved Hannah, but the Lord had shut up her womb. And her adversaries also provoked her sore for to make her fret, because the Lord had shut up her womb. And as he did so year by year, when she went up to the house of the Lord, so she provoked her. Therefore she wept and did not eat. Then said Elkanah her husband to her, Hannah, why weepest thou? And why eatest thou not? And why is the, thy heart grieved? Am I not better to thee than ten sons? So Hannah rose up after they had eaten in Shiloh and after they had drunk. Now Eli the priest sat upon a seat by a post of the temple of the Lord. And she was in bitterness of soul and prayed unto the Lord and wept sore. And she vowed a vow and said, O Lord of hosts, if thou wilt indeed look on the affliction of thine handmaid and remember me and not forget thine handmaid, but will give unto thine handmaid a man child. She wanted a boy. Then I will give him unto the Lord all the days of his life, and there shall no razor come upon his head. And the message for this morning is simply this, Lord, remember me. Oh, glory to God. Can someone lift your hand to heaven and say, Lord, remember me. Oh, glory to God. Put down your Bible, put down your iPads and give the Lord a hand praise and say, Lord, remember me. Hallelujah. You may be seated in the presence of the almighty God. The, the message this morning is, Lord, remember me. Very familiar area of scripture. Probably it will be preached in many pulpits this morning. I was going to preach something else, but as I began to read about Hannah, glory to God. Anybody named Hannah in here? Anybody? Any Hannahs in here? Glory to God. Well, we have to be mindful that her name means grace. Her name means favor. And we have to know, glory to God, that she's not going through a very graceful moment right now in her humanity. Glory to God. And how many know that God's grace is sufficient? Glory to God. That unmerited favor that he gives to an undeserving man or woman. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And she has an enemy by the name of Peninnah. The These two women are the wives of a man by the name of Elkanah. Glory to God. I just want you to know that God does not condone polygamy. But in this story, Elkanah has two wives, Hannah and Peninnah. And Hannah didn't, well, did not have the ability to have children. And Peninnah had children. And the word Peninnah means jewel. That means she can use some room for improvement because she is everything but a jewel. Glory to God. And Peninnah has a spirit that enjoys the tragedy and the misfortune of other people. Do you know anybody like that? Glory to God. They just love drama. Glory to God. They just love to see another person in pain or hurt. Glory to God. They are messy, cold-hearted people. Glory to God. They are unapologetic of their behavior. They don't care who they hurt as long as they look good. You know anybody like that? Glory to God. And sometimes it will seem like the enemy is getting the upper hand in our lives. Can somebody say amen? Sometimes it just seems like he does not let up. He doesn't let up on you. He doesn't let up on your family, but he just continues to needle you in the area of your inadequacies. I thank God for the mothers that are in the sanctuary this morning. I thank God for my mother sitting over there. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Queen Sanders. I thank God in the name of the Lord for the mother of my children. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Gave me all three of them in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Two sons and glory to God. A daughter. Hallelujah. And now hallelujah. We have to be mindful glory to God that motherhood is a gift from God. 
God. Oh, glory to God. It's interesting that we are living in a time, and I'm not spending a whole lot of this because you know that I am not a political preacher, but you see what is on the news today. Glory to God. Roe versus Wade about to be turned over, but we have to be mindful. Glory to God. After all the politics is over, God is the only one that can create human life. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Man has duplicated just about everything he can give you. Glory to God. A mechanical heart, a mechanical lung, but he can't duplicate blood and he cannot duplicate life. Oh, glory to God. Yes, I'm very passionate about this. Glory to God. I'm grateful for those that are in the sanctuary, but I am not, glory to God, a lecturer. I'm a preacher, glory to God, that wants you to get the word of God. Can somebody say, Lord, remember me? Well, we find out that there are times in life that God will take negativity and turn it around. It will seem like we were, lo we were losing. It will seem like the enemy is on top. But how many know that God has a plan for your life? No matter what you're going through, he is orchestrating your life. I want to say this to somebody, that God has already been where you're trying to go. Oh, glory to God. Even when the odds are against you, even when it seems like the bottom is going to fall out. Let me tell you something. God is in control. Oh, glory to God. We find that Hannah is a we find that she cannot have children. The science wasn't so the way that it is now. Glory to God. She could not do anything to overcome her barrenness. But for some reason, even though she knew she couldn't have children, she still had that desire to give birth. Oh, glory to God. I want to say to somebody right now, don't let your affliction overcome your dream. Don't let your affliction overcome the desires that God has put on the inside of you. Well, the psalmist says in Psalms 34, 18 and 19, the Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and save such as be of a constrict spirit. Spirit. Glory to God. The psalmist goes on to say, Psalm 34 and 19, many are the afflictions of the righteous. Yep. Uh, let me say that one more time. The psalmist says, many, multiple, several, glory to God, not just a few, but, but many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord will deliver him out of some of them. Oh, glory, just a little bit of them. Oh, glory, just one or two of them. But the Bible says that the Lord shall deliver them out of them all. So I want to say to somebody right now this morning that your affliction, the trauma, the struggle that you may be going through right now, people calling you out of your name, glory to God, having the audacity to talk about an inadequacy in your life, a flaw in your body, glory to God. I come to tell you that God is is not through with you yet and God has the last say oh the Lord of God let me let me go to the psalmist one more time Psalms 84 and 11 for the Lord God is a sun and a shield and the Lord will give grace and glory and no good thing will he withhold from them oh you ought to praise the Lord right there no good thing will he withhold from them that would walk uprightly glory to God and, and we find that sometimes when we are in situations of struggle when we are in situations where we have low self-esteem and we are being intimidated by the enemy and the only recourse we have is to pray oh glory to God how many know that prayer changes things I'm talking about when you start talking to God, whether you're lying down on your face, whether you're kneeling, whether you're driving in your car. How many know when you pray glory to God, wherever you are, God is listening to you. Will somebody give God the praise because you know the power of prayer. Glory to God. You must make your prayer request known unto God. Never take it for granted that you don't have to explain to God what you want. But how many know that God knows how to handle the details oh glory to God you can tell the Lord how high you can tell the Lord how low you can tell him what area of the city you can tell him the color glory to God you can tell him in the detail of what you want him to do so Hannah's recourse to 
overcome what she was going through, the teasing and the ridicule of Peninnah. She begins to pray. And I want to say to a few people in here, stop praying generalities. Be specific with God. We serve an intelligent God. We serve a God, hallelujah, that knows the end from the beginning. John said he's alpha and omega. The beginning and the ending, the one that is and the one that is to come. Somebody needs this this morning. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor God is ahead of you. Mm -hmm. He ain't one step ahead of you. Glory to God. He's, he's already been there. Glory to God. Give him the details. Trust me. Glory to God. If, if your faith can pray it, glory to God. God can handle it. Because we know that the Bible says now unto him that is able to do exceeding and abundant. Above all that we ask or think. Above all that we ask or think. According to the power that worketh within us. We're going to get here in a minute, but she prays the prayer of reciprocity. Mm. Lord, if you do this, I'll do that. Oh, glory to God. You saw how many have been there? Oh, Lord, if you get me out of this one. I praise you like never before. Lord, if you get me out of this one, I, I'll be the first one to get to the church on Sunday. Matter of fact, I'll beat the deacon that opens up the church and watch him put the key in the keyhole and open the church door. But Lord, if you get me out of this, you answer my prayer today, Lord God. I'll do what you have me to do. We'll get there in a minute. Hannah has the request. But the Bible says that the Lord shut up her womb. Not the devil. But the Lord shut up her womb. Now that's what you just sit there and say, Lord, get this. Lord, I don't understand. He shut up her womb. But we have to know that God's delay is not his denial. Let me, say, let me say something to a few people in here. This will bless you. God is a prayer answering God, but sometimes he talks slow and he moves slow. Oh, anybody know what I'm talking about? Let me say it again. He talks slow and he moves slow. He is never in a hurry. Not that he can't move fast, but sometimes he's trying to teach us who he is while he's moving slow. God is saying, watch me work. Watch me figure this out. Watch me put all the things in place that are needed for you to get the blessing that you've been waiting on. Don't worry about putting the square in the round hole or the round hole in the square. Let me figure this thing out for you. Let me show you myself. Let me say something. Don't you learn more about God when you're going through than when you're tiptoeing through the tulips? Oh, he shows himself mighty. He shows himself strong. The Lord shut up Hannah's womb. <laughs> but let me tell you, anything that God closes, he can open. Oh, glory to God. Let me say something. God never does anything for no reason. He just doesn't do things because I can, because I'm God. But we have to know, what God does, he does on purpose. With purpose. And God is very precise when it comes to purpose. Specifically, your purpose. And my purpose. What's happening in your life is not an accident. Even when we mess up, God knows how to work through our mess ups. Y'all don't like that word. When you jack up, God will work through what you have jacked up. He told you not to go there. He told you to turn right and you turn left. He told you to keep your mouth closed, but you opened it anyway. But he worked through your mess up. Yeah. But here, 
It appears that Hannah hasn't done anything wrong. But God shut up her womb. This affliction produced many tears, many crying nights for Hannah. Glory to God. It caused her to lose her appetite. She wasn't fasting. She just couldn't eat. She wanted a child just that bad. Oh, glory to God. Elkanah could not understand why his wife was lamenting so much. And with his arrogant self, he says, am I not better to you than ten sons? Look, dude, she want a baby. She got you. So we find that Hannah's saying that's not enough. She realizes she has no choice but to pray. The Bible reveals that Elkanah loved Hannah. He didn't say that he loved a Peninnah, but he loved Hannah, gave her a worthy portion, gave Peninnah and her children a, a, a portion, but gave Hannah a worthy portion, but it still wasn't enough. And at the time when they were going to sacrifice, most likely in Jerusalem, that's when Pen Peninnah turned up the heat and began to tease her and to mock her so bad that she was bitterness in her heart. But we find that she prayed in her frustration. She prayed in her desperation. Has anybody ever been there? Oh, you prayed and you cried. You prayed and you cried. Lord, where are you? I'm frustrated. I don't like what the enemy is doing to me. Glory to God. I'm trying to do my best, God. But Lord, hallelujah, I don't know what to do. But she begins to call on the Lord. And the Bible lets us know that she makes a vow to the Lord. Hallelujah. And the Bible says in the 11th verse, as I hasten on, she says, and she vowed a vow and said, O Lord of hosts, if thou wilt indeed look on the affliction of thine handmaid. Glory to God. She was saying, Lord, hallelujah, look at me. Glory to God. I'm a woman, but in this culture, if you couldn't have a baby, glory to God, there were some issues there. Glory to God. But she says, Lord, look at my affliction. And she says, Lord, remember me. Oh, glory to God. Has anybody ever had to pray the prayer of Hannah? It seemed like God is not paying attention. It appears as if God has gone on a coffee break and he's blessing everybody except you. Everybody's giving a testimony, but Lord, I want a testimony. Not just an ordinary testimony, but, but I want to stand up before the church and say, in the, as they did in the old church, and said, giving honor to God, who's the head of my life? How many remember that? Oh, glory to God. Some of y'all don't remember that. People would stand up in the church and we'd have testimony service and, and we would tell all our business to the church and we would say what God has done and how God brought us through a brand new day and how we witness in the bank and, and glory to God and hallelujah we would tell everything that we could think of how good God has been how many know you have a testimony that's what Hannah wanted she wanted to be able to tell glory to God hallelujah everybody what God had done but she said Lord remember me why did she say it because she was feeling like God had forgotten her. Has anybody ever been there? Where are the real people? Uh, glory to God. You felt in your humanity uh, that God was not paying attention. Uh, oh, glory to God. She says uh, to him that don't forget me. I want to say something to a few people. God doesn't have amnesia. He knows exactly what you're going through. But do you have a prayer that says, Lord, I trust you in spite of what I see? Oh, glory to God. Proverbs says it like this. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. That we have to know that his ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. But hallelujah, we have to find here in Proverbs, glory to God. It says, trust in the Lord with all of thine heart. 
and lean not to thine own understanding oh glory to god there are many things that i see that i don't understand turn on the news i don't understand so i'd rather say i'm not going to lean to my own understanding but in all of my ways god i'm going to acknowledge you that you will direct not just a path but all of my paths i'm going to acknowledge you god when it hurts i'm going to acknowledge you when i'm burdened i'm going to acknowledge you when i'm on the mountaintop i'm going to acknowledge you glory to god when i got things figured out i'm going to acknowledge you when i'm confused in my mind i'm going to acknowledge you when i'm victorious i'm going to acknowledge you when i'm losing the battle winter spring summer or fall i'm going to acknowledge you not just on christmas easter glory to god in glory to god in passover glory to god in pentecost sunday i'm going to acknowledge you every time i need the leadership glory to god that only can come from god how many pray like that lord i don't get it but lord i acknowledge you lord god this pain hurts in my body so i'm going to acknowledge you i'm going through a spiritual struggle so i'm going to acknowledge you I'm going through problems in my family in my marriage so I will acknowledge you and Lord what I expect is that you will direct I didn't mean for that to rhyme oh glory to God but what I expect God is for you to direct oh glory to God but the Bible lets us know that this handmaid named Hannah her name means grace glory to God she didn't stutter when she made her request known unto God she didn't say this Lord bless me Lord keep me Lord download a blessing on me she didn't just say Lord whatever you do it's all right with me she said look Lord I need a boy glory to God I can't have no baby I don't want a girl I want a boy in the name of the Lord and she said if you give me this boy I'll give him back to you for your service glory to God I know many times over the years I believe that God didn't cut deals with people but let me tell you right now Hannah is cutting a deal oh glory to God the only thing you gotta do when you cut a deal with God you gotta keep your word Oh, glory to God. She asked for the boy. She said, if you give me this boy, she calls it a man child. Oh, glory to God. And she says, I'll give him unto thee all the days of his life. And she says, there no razor will come upon his head. Glory to God. The baby wasn't even born. And she was making a Nazarite creed that this boy's hair won't be cut. Where is Micah? Hold Micah up in the name of the Lord he's sleeping huh? oh glory to God stand up Micah glory to God his hair has never been cut oh glory to God hallelujah hallelujah there's a Nazarite creed on his life in the name of the Lord hallelujah the Bible says that no hallelujah razor is going to come on his head but she began to go to the temple and while she was praying the priest hallelujah Eli was at the corner watching glory to God she began to pray so intensely at some point they could hear her voice but at some point she was lamenting so hard her lips were moving oh glory to God but nothing was coming out and the priest oh glory to God the preacher came in and said girl something must be the matter with you glory to God you must be drunk you must be inebriated you must be zooted glory to God don't move your mouth and nothing coming out but she began to pray that much more oh glory to God he accused her of being a wicked woman a woman of Belial oh glory to God but the Bible lets us know that Hannah said no my Lord I'm a woman of a sorrowful spirit I have drunk neither wine nor strong drink but I poured out my soul before the Lord can somebody say Lord 
remember me in the name of the Lord she gave it all she had see in this life we live many people are giving all they got to get ahead in the name of their rob steal kill to get ahead but I come to tell some folk you need to pour your spirit out to God until you get an answer because God has a plan for you does anybody know that God can turn your situation around hallelujah this woman was praying she was barren she was in the temple but she prayed for an impossibility I want to tell a few people in the name of the Lord uh, on this Sunday morning uh, that God is a God uh, that specializes uh, in impossible situations uh, does anybody uh, are you facing something impossible I dare you uh, to have a one on one with God uh, and pour out your spirit uh, to the Lord uh, don't worry what man says uh, God, uh, the blessing you need uh, must come from glory. Uh, oh, give God a praise in here. Uh, but the Bible lets us know, uh, hallelujah, uh, that Hannah says to Eli, uh, glory to God, uh, I'm not a daughter uh, uh, of Belial, uh, uh, but I have an abundance uh, of my compassion. Uh, and my grief uh, I have spoken hitherto uh, and Eli uh, changed his mind uh, and said go in peace and the God of Israel uh, will grant thee uh, see the one that was talking about her uh, is now prophesying to her uh, oh glory to God uh, he says thy petition uh, that thou hast asked of him uh, how many know we serve uh, a prayer answering God uh, oh glory to God uh, how many know we serve a God uh, that answers prayer uh, oh glory to God uh, how many know uh, somebody prayed for you uh, to get you where you are right now uh, I said this last Sunday uh, but I know glory to God uh, that Janice C. Sanders uh, glory to God my mama uh, had to pray uh, glory to God for me uh, if she didn't pray, I wouldn't be standing here right now. Because if she told you the things I used to do when I was a little boy, glory to God, you wouldn't believe it. You wouldn't believe that this preacher, glory to God, would sit by his grandmother in church. And my grandmother, Ruth Lacey, she spoke in tongues all the time. Glory to God, one Sunday, glory to God, she got in the spirit. She was sitting now and when she would get happy she threw her head like this she opened up her mouth she began to speak in tongues and glory to God I got a hold of a lifesaver oh glory to God and while she was speaking in tongues I dropped that lifesaver in her mouth oh glory to God but she kept on speaking in the name of the Lord she would tell you about a little boy in the name of the Lord that would come down the aisle in the name of Jesus hallelujah singing the theme the Batman in the name of the Lord but look at me now in the name of the Lord God knows hallelujah God has a plan for you and me I don't care what the struggle is he's gonna be there that's why Hannah said I don't know what to do oh the Lord of God but I'm pulling out all the stops and I'm gonna pray until I get an answer does anybody waiting on God to answer your prayer there's an old song that says don't stop praying for the Lord is nigh don't stop praying he'll hear your cry come on all the mothers for the Lord has promised and his word is true don't stop praying look at your neighbor say don't stop praying he'll answer you he'll answer you in the morning he'll answer you in noonday he'll answer you late in the midnight hour he'll answer 
to you when your enemy is saying you'll never be nothing he'll answer you when they put you at the bottom of the rung he'll answer you when they're calling you out of your name he'll answer you when you're in bitterness of heart he'll answer you when you're sorrowful in your spirit how many know we serve a God that's never late but he's always on time Peter said it like this cast your cares upon him for he cares for you make the devil mad I may be barren but he cares for me me uh, my blessing uh, may seem like uh, it's never gonna come uh, but God uh, cares for me uh, can somebody give God a praise uh, it says no matter what it looks like uh, he cares uh, for me uh, what the Bible says uh, and she said uh, let thine hand me uh, find grace in the sight uh, in thy sight well Hannah's name means grace but at this time she needed some grace how many know something about grace that's when God blesses you when you don't even deserve it I want to say this I didn't even deserve to get out the bed this morning but if it had not been for his grace I don't deserve to be walking and talking but if it had not been uh, for his grace I don't deserve uh, to be preaching the gospel uh, but if it had not been uh, for his grace uh, I don't deserve uh, that pretty woman over there uh, but if it had not been uh, for his grace uh, I don't deserve uh, that light skinned girl uh, with that long hair back there uh, but if it had not been uh, for his grace uh, I don't deserve uh, Jane and Rob uh, but if it had not been for his grace I don't deserve Queen Sanders but if it had not been for his grace I don't deserve my church family but if it had not been for his grace I don't deserve to be filled with the Holy Ghost but if it had not been for his grace can you take about 30 seconds and give God a praise for his grace Bible says after she prayed oh glory to God after she prayed the Bible says when she stopped praying it said that she was no more sad her countenance changed am I preaching to anybody you were feeling bad you didn't know what to do the Lord said I dare you start praying and before you said amen things started looking better you started feeling like I know that God gonna bless me you felt the joy of the Lord in a hard place give God the praise she was no more sad how many know that God will turn your sadness in the joy how many know that God will turn your prayer into a promise I feel like blessing him this morning what about you can somebody shout can somebody praise him can somebody lift their hands and say Lord remember me for the 19th verse and they rose up in the morning early and worshiped before the Lord and returned and came to their house to Rama. and the Bible says that Elkanah knew Hannah let me make it real clear he knew her they came together as husband and wife of the Lord of God and the next clause said and the Lord remembered Hannah 
You gotta know one thing that God doesn't cut corners. He could have put a baby in her stomach, but the Bible lets us know she had to go to her husband in the name of the Lord. Remember, she was barren. Oh, glory to God. But I know what Hannah was saying. This just can't feel good. But I need some results. I need a seed that's going to touch my egg. That's going to get fertilized in my barren womb. How many know that God is a miracle worker? And the Bible says when it came to pass, the time was come. Hannah had conceived and she bare a son and called his name Samuel saying because I have asked him of the Lord oh glory to God the Bible says Ricky ask and it shall be given seek and we shall find she was knocking when she was in the temple, she was knocking. When she was lamenting before God. But the Bible says, seek, we shall find. Knock, and the door, and the door, the door of her womb. I said the door of her barrenness was open. I want to ask somebody, what door do you need open? I dare you to praise him right now and say the door that's been shut, the door that's been closed, God closed the door, but my prayer is going to make the door swing open. If you believe it, shout yeah! If you believe that the God we serve is a door opening God, give him the praise. Give him the praise. Shall ye? Shall ye? your neighbor I don't care if you're a man look at your neighbor and say I got my baby now look at your neighbor and say I got my baby I got my baby I was pregnant but the baby is coming forth I was bitter but the baby is coming forth Lord remember me Lord remember me Church, come on, mothers, you've been through too much. Not to praise him now. Can you praise him and say, Lord, remember me? Answer my prayer. I need you, God. I need you now. The enemy tried to discourage me. The enemy tried to stop me. But my prayer says, I believe God. I believe God. If you believe God, release your pray. Lord, remember me. Lord, remember me. Tell your neighbor, I got my baby now. I got my baby now. Even for the men, it's a spiritual baby. It's something that was stopped for a moment, but God re re resurrected it in the name of Jesus. The Bible lets us know, just to close right here, when it was time to go to 
sacrifice. Hallelujah. Elkanah said, let's go. Hannah said, I can't go until a baby is weaned because I don't want to be distracted. Oh, glory to God. Let me tell you something. When God blesses you, when he gives you what you need, when it's time to praise him, you got to get rid of all the distractions. you got to get rid of everything that's preventing you from seeing that God has been good. Tell your neighbor one more time. I got my baby now. The devil didn't want you to have it. He didn't want you to get pregnant. He didn't want you. He tried to make you miscarry your blessing. But God is in the details. You need to testify. I got my baby now. Get ready, Nico. Get ready. Get life on the inside. It's just a matter of time. And on the other side, you're going to say, I got my baby now. In the name of the Lord, give God a praise in this place. Put your hands in the air and worship him right now. Come on. Come on, worship him, worship him. Worship him. Worship him in spirit and in truth. To worship you I live. To worship you I live. I live to worship you. To worship you, I live. To worship you, I live. I live to worship you. Oh. Worship him this morning. To worship you, I live. Hallelujah. To worship you, I live. To worship you, I live. I live to worship you. Come on, you and God. You and God. To worship you, I live. To worship you, I live, I live to worship you. him all over the sanctuary. Hallelujah.
of the Lord is in this atmosphere. We would be remiss if we did not offer you, give you an invitation to accept our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ into your life, acknowledging him in his life, his death, his burial, and rising from the dead on the third day. Jesus laid down his life for you and me. But there's some that need to meet Jesus for the first time. The need to accept him as the one that gave his life, laid down his life, shed his blood, that we might be forgiven of our sin, might be healed of our sicknesses. Jesus said, I am the way, not a way, but I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Come to heal you wherever you hurt, heal you of the past, and bless you for what's in your future. The Bible says to repent, to turn in godly sorrow for your sins be baptized in his name for the remission of sin to receive the promise of the infilling of the Holy Ghost Jesus is a lover of your soul he loves you more than you love yourself if you don't know who Jesus is come to this altar come forward we'll pray for you we'll intercede for you that the Lord comes into your life, that you'll know him for yourself. The Lord is coming soon. The Bible lets us know he'll come as a thief in the night. He will come without warning. Glory to God. He'll come for his church, not a building. There's a lot of buildings open, but he's coming back for a people that have accepted him as Lord and Savior. Let me remind you, the church comes in and out of the building. The building is just the place where we gather to worship and fellowship together. But the Lord is still in the soul-saving business. And all he's looking is for someone to say, Lord, come into my life. Forgive me of my sins. I believe that you lived. I believe that you died. I believe that you rose on the third day. I believe you're coming back again. How many know that the Lord is coming back again? If you're going back with him, shout hallelujah. There is only two places that mankind will dwell. It's either heaven or hell. The Bible does not speak of anything that alludes to purgatory. There is no middle ground. But Jesus is our escape. Jesus is the one that said, I want to save you, deliver you, and set you free. That he would say on the cross, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Those that are listening to me online, this prayer is for you. Ask the Lord to come into your heart. Ask him to change you from the inside out. Declare that you believe that he walked this earth. That he died on a cross and shed his blood for your sin. He died, but he rose on the third day. During these challenging times in which we live, souls have been saved. Souls have been buried in the waters of baptism. If you haven't been baptized, there's a pool right behind me. We'll prepare you for baptism. We'll teach you about the necessity of baptism. If you haven't been filled with the Holy Ghost, with the evidence of speaking in tongues, you can come. Glory to God right now. But it all begins. Salvation begins with an introduction to Jesus Christ. He was a Jew. He was a carpenter. Glory to God. But he was God manifested in the flesh. Jesus said, when you have seen me, you have seen the Father. How sayest thou then? Show us the Father. He said, I and my Father are one. 
God had to incarnate himself in Jesus Christ. He had to become man. Glory to God. And we have to realize he had to become man because the Messiah had to be a relative to all mankind. He had to be willing. He had to be able. If any of us were chosen to be the Messiah, we would have bailed out as soon as someone called us out of our name. But Jesus took the persecution. We talked many weeks ago how he was spat upon, buffeted, punched in the face, slapped with an open paw, beaten beyond recognition. This is what he went through for us. But Jesus said, he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. That's not, the, that's not my words. That's the words of the scripture. Glory to God. Jesus can save you today. Glory to God. He can deliver you today. How many have the testimony you're going to heaven and the devil can't do nothing about it? That's right. Put your hands together and praise him. The answer is in Jesus Christ. Not in Buddha. Not in Confucius. I'm going to really walk on water here. Not in the Mormon church. Not in the Book of Mormons. We don't need another book to understand the Bible. Not in Allah. The only answer is Jesus Christ, the Lord. Muhammad is dead. Confucius is dead. Our Savior rose from the dead. Oh, you ought to give God the praise. And he is alive in us. It's in him that we live. It's in him that we move. It's in him that we have our being. Not only wants you to repent and be baptized, but he wants you to be filled with the Holy Spirit. But the evidence of speaking in tongues, I have Bible for that. Acts 1 and 8 tells us, shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon us. Shall be witnesses in Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria, and the uttermost parts of the earth. Acts 2 tells us, and then when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. Suddenly there came a sound from heaven as a rushing mighty wind, and it filled the house where they were sitting. The Bible says it appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire, and it sat upon each of them. Glory to God. And when he sat, the Bible says, they began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit of God gives the utterance or gives the power to do so. Glory to God. The evidence of the Holy Spirit is speaking in tongues. Not the only thing that you'll do, but it's going to be the first thing that you do. Glory to God. So today is a good time to come to Jesus. And the words that you have heard today, let me just say this, and the Lord is coming back for his church in person. The Bible says that the Lord shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel. The Bible says, and the dead in Christ shall rise first, and we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together to meet them in the air. The Bible says in 1 Thessalonians 4, 18, Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. That means talk about it. When you're going through the hardest places in your life, you just point to your feet and say, this earth is not my home. When you feel like giving up, this earth is not my home. But God has a better place. Glory to God. John 14 tells us, let not your heart be troubled. If you believe in God, believe also in me. Jesus said, in my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. He said, if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, that where I am, where I am, there ye may be also. I don't want to be where Jesus was. I want to be where Jesus is. What about you? Glory to God. So come to Jesus. Don't let another day go by where you have not acknowledged him as your Lord and Savior. 
through repentance, water baptism, and the promise of the infilling of the Holy Spirit. And those of you that are listening to me that are already saved, share this brief message with somebody. It's time to come to Jesus. We see it. Turn on CNN. It's already in the Bible. In the last days, perilous times will come. There'll be kingdom against kingdom, nation against nation. Glory to God. It's taking place in the Ukraine right now. And people are just sitting there saying, that's just a, you know, that's just a world event. No. That's a, that's a signal that the Lord is coming soon. The economy where it is right now is a signal that the Lord is coming soon. The heart of mankind is saying that the Lord is coming soon. There's an old song that says, come to Jesus right now. He will save you right now. Hallelujah. He'll heal you right now. He'll deliver you right now. Glory to God. If you don't know Jesus, just lift your hand right now. I'll pray for you right where you're sitting. If you don't know who Jesus is as your Lord and Savior, just lift your hands where you are right now. Glory to God. So once again, we just don't want to preach. Give you a message on Sunday morning. We want to give the invitation. Accept Jesus as Lord and Savior. How many are excited about your salvation? Glory to God. I'm excited. I'm glad he loved me enough to save me, deliver me, set me free. You are a product of salvation. Glory to God. I'm glad I'm saved. Glory to God. You should be glad that you're saved. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand. Praise in Jesus' name. Those of you that are online, we thank God for you. We thank you, God for you signing in virtually, being with us on this morning. In the name of the Lord, if you desire to sow, you can use that giving link. Glory to God at the bottom of, your, of the, uh, of the uh, video that you're watching right now. In the name of the Lord. So we're going to take this time to worship the Lord in our giving. You can sign on to givelify.com as well as grtchurch.org. Brandon, if you would show those, those slides, glory to God, so that we can sew together. We are sewing electronically, but those of you that may have taken an envelope, you can fill that envelope out, and you can turn it in on your way out. But we want to pray over your seeds this morning. Can't beat God giving, no matter how hard we try. There it is on the screen, givelify.com. And if you type in refuge te Greater Refuge Temple, it'll populate. And uh, GRT Church, there is an online giving link right on the website. So I'm going to ask you to give. If you can't give, you can give throughout the week. Give when you get when you get home. But if you can do it now, do so uh, right now. We want you to sow into the vision of the Strength to Strive seat. Glory. 